So it was almost exactly one year ago today that I walked through this door and said, Hey, my name is Pete Gustin, and this is my brand new YouTube channel called Blind Surfer. Then I dragged Banana out of bed early on a New Year's Day. We went down to the beach. I told her to point her camera at me, and we kicked off the channel with me catching this, my very first wave. So what did I do in 2020? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny because I feel like a lot of people are going to be asking themselves that question in a few years. And out of all the years in the world to document, this was the one that I documented. Well, I guess I did a lot of surfing. I learned how to skateboard on a ramp. I learned how to ride a giant skateboard here and here. I put away bicycles a long time ago because, you know, can't see. But I got back on those and rode one here and here with a little help from my backseat driver. I caught a frisbee while surfing. I mean, kinda. It was really, really, really close and I did come up with it. I shot a gun. I found a way to learn how to skimboard and did some tandem surfing. During lockdown, we played some games around the house. And also during lockdown, I tried to bribe a lifeguard to let me go surf. I wish it worked out, right? <laughs> That's a no-go. Yeah. <laughs> I broke a surfboard, threw some axes. Hey! Oh, and knives. Yay! I was given a thong for my birthday. It's a thong? <laughs> and was forced to display it on the beach. And I also got engaged. I made new friends that taught me how to wakeboard, and more friends that taught me how to wake surf. I had three articles written about me in the Inertia and one in Surfer Magazine. And one of the more memorable moments out on the water was on the first day we teamed up with Brooks, our drone pilot, this T-bone crash where I did not see Josh, and Josh wasn't moving. I wrote my third novel called I Talk to Adams and it debuted at number one on Amazon. And to my own complete and total surprise, I won not one, but two voice arts awards this year. One was for Outstanding TV Promo of the Year for the cartoon Archer, and the other one was for Outstanding Movie Trailer of the Year for the film Unhinged. We celebrated by popping some champagne and the cork somehow bounced off the ceiling, ricocheted back and hit banana in the face. <laughs> and yes, did I mention a lot of surfing. I thought I'd been pushing my limits before I started this channel, and I guess you could say I was. I'm a, a guy who can't see, that became a voiceover actor who reads copy for a living, and I've been living a pretty active life, uh, learning how to surf and do a handful of things, but to take on the challenge of doing this show and force myself to learn something completely new, basically week after week after week, and get very far outside my comfort zone, I mean very far outside my comfort zone, most of my life, honestly, you guys all get to watch these crazy things I do every week, but most of it is lived like right here in this booth. Um, I do voiceovers for many, many, many hours a day, but to force myself to get out there and do this stuff every week, I thought I was doing it to inspire other people and to spread that message, but it, it worked on me. It, it helped me understand that I had a lot of limits in my life that I had imposed on myself or that this lack of eyesight had forced upon me, but I kept breaking through walls every week and accomplishing new things and doing new things. And after a year of doing this, I feel really good about it. I feel really good about myself, knowing that I can take on challenges, knowing that because I've lost my eyesight, it doesn't have to shut down my life. I mean, it's so funny having tried to start this to tell other people the message and learning it myself a year later. Uh, the channel does get a lot of questions, a lot of questions. So here's a New Year's resolution. For everyone out there that says, you're not blind, you can see, he's faking. How can you read the comments if you're blind? I spent 2020 answering you. I spent 2020 responding to your comments and I'm not gonna do that anymore. I can't see anymore. I have Stargate's disease. I can't see the camera that I'm talking into. I can't see my hand in front of my face. I see something moving a little bit. I know it's my hand because it's my hand. And if you don't want to believe that, that's fine. I'm not going to convince people. You can watch the channel and take something out of it, or you can think I'm some sort of a faker, which is just a weird way to live life. I didn't even know I needed to get that off my chest, but apparently I did. Uh, anyway, I'm doing this episode all alone, without Banana, without Josh, without Brooks, without anybody, because I did want to give everyone uh, a day off uh, for this entire year. Everyone's woken up early and been with me for every episode. I mean, we could have done a dance party like we've done in the past. Josh, celebration dance time. 
right. But I think a nice quiet celebration of 10,000 subscribers in one year for the people that have worked so hard on this with me. I mean, Banana, another thing you guys don't see, the two of them have... <laughs> <laughs> like almost gotten into fights on my behalf recently I was blocking the way uh, access to the beach and I didn't know I couldn't see and Maggie tells me to move Somebody come in and some lady she said something to me and scowled at me and you can't hear it in the audio but Maggie said to her she said he's blind you keep moving there's something to that effect and she did and Josh at 140 pounds when he's wearing a soaking wet wetsuit actually was we had to like restrain him from going to fight a bunch of people because we had gotten separated and they were really mean to me out there in the water and it really got to me and I got yelled at hardcore by a bunch of guys uh, that didn't like for being out in the water having yeah. a good time on July 3rd, you know, just yeah. the day off. No worries. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sunny. Get out of there. California vibes, man. You don't belong here. Get the F out of here. And Josh was pissed. He was ready to run out there and fight. There was like five of them and he was going to fight all of them. Josh would have kicked their asses. I would have kicked their asses. These are the people that are working with me on this show. These are the people that I'm super appreciative and thankful that are working with me on this show. And we said we'd reevaluate at the end of the year. We're going to do a one year of the show, uh, see where we're at and where we're doing. And at over 10,000 subscribers, I think we're doing pretty good. I think I might have to do a little convincing to keep bringing the show to you, but uh, hopefully we will, and I definitely appreciate everyone out there that watches, that comments, that's taken the uh, journey with us. So thank you to all of you. Happy New Year, and see you in 2021. So, Banana. What? We're coming up on a year. Yeah. You committed to a year of the channel. I committed you to a year of the channel. <laughs> Josh, another year. Am I ready for another year? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> this has been a year, but um, the YouTube channel was mostly fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's the nicest thing I've heard about it all year. It was year. probably really one of the like best, biggest positive things of the year. Yeah, honestly, it really probably was. Pete, you made 2020 look somewhat okay. No, no, you just you just did a little good thing in 2020. So you know. <laughs> made 2020 suck slightly less. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we've provided entertainment for some people during this crappy year. Ha <laughs>